All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I would like to go ahead and take this time to look through the John Ruta 362. It was just updated to version 3.0. We're going to be in the shop today, We're not driving it. We're just going to go through all of the elements and this is going to serve two people. Those that have the 362, I will be able to show you all of the updates. You'll be able to see what it is that's new here. And what is new here does stand out quite a bit. So it's not going to be, you know, a whole lot of subtle things. There are a lot of different additions that have been added on here. Um, just a quick rundown. You'll notice that you get eight different exhaust pipe tips. You get 14 different bumpers, 24 different variations of mirrors, 36 variations of the back bumper, and so on. It's not just small things that were added to this. This is, in a lot of ways, a completely different truck, but it's also going to help those of you that don't have the John Ruta 362 because I am going to take a comprehensive look of all the parts and all of the different build options, so let's go ahead and get started now. Okay, so we just entered the shop. We have, this is what comes with it. This is the stock setup. This is what you're going to see when you first come in. First of all, let me go ahead and point out the cabins. There are three cabins, and two of them are new. So we now have a 63-footer. We have an 82-footer on the cab, and we have a 110. Um, quick thing to point out, there are some really cool options on here, and some of them only take place with the 82-footer and the 110. Uh, some of them are not going to happen with the 63 just to keep that in mind. So in order to show you all the options, even though you might have a preference for like a day cab, I'm going to be using this 110 so you can see all the different options. Let's go on to chassis. We now have five chassis. I'll go through them one by one. The 160, the 180, the 190, the 240, and the 260, and that is just crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That's normally halfway through your... Your trailer, no, not that far, but it's pretty crazy. Um, let's just keep on working down these options here. With the engines, something cool about these engines, and I would like to point out that it only happens in the stock engines that come with the truck, so let's go ahead and take care of that right now. I'm disabling all of them and only checking the one that says Pete 362 cab over. And here's why I'm showing you this. You obviously can use many other engines, but the engine is, at first, whether you want, you can put a cover over this or you can leave it um, uncovered, but just wanted to point out that with all of the engines that come with the truck, it will change on the fly, the color of it, as we make the selection. For example, right now, we must have a ca uh, cat in there because it is yellow, but if I switch over to a Cummins, it goes gray. It'll do, and then back to yellow for the cat. For the Detroit, it's going to turn kind of a blue. There we go. Packar also goes to gray, much like the Cummins. Um, and then back to yellow for the cat. And then this Cummins, where is it? There is another one. Here we go. This Cummins actually turns red. So you got red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, but one little note is it only changes with the engines that come with it, the ones that are marked Pete 362 cab over. So keep that in mind. While you can use these other engines, you're not necessarily going to see any change in them. So, for example, this didn't come with it. This is actually from Steel Productions. It is a cat, and it's not changing color. So it's only the ones that come with the truck. Uh, transmission's pretty standard. Don't need to really go through it. Got a 6 got some 6s, 10s, 13s, and 18s. Pretty standard. You can put whatever you want in it. And let's go ahead and go to the inside because it's a little bit quicker. You do have the option of beige, blue, and red. And in version 2.0, we had black, and we also had green. So basically, you're just controlling what the overall what carpet and seat color is going to look like here. In terms of options, there are some new options for steering wheels. Um, I don't know what this gauge here in the middle is, but I cannot pick a steering wheel that really allows me to see it. 
actually that one will, but now, now it's going to block those other two gauges. And even when I go with probably one of the least uh, impacted steering wheels, that one works. That one's probably one of the best steering wheels to go with. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see, um, and I believe that's the parameter, uh, parameter, sorry, the parameter. And uh, even if you just go back to the classic one, you have good visibility with everything except that parameter. So just keep that in mind. Big update here on mirrors. There are actually 24 different variations of the mirrors. I'll just kind of go through the first couple. So we have a nice square looking mirror and we also have a square convex mirror. All we have to do is go full and then we've got this small circular convex mirror and that's basically the theme with all the variations. What happens is, as you see as we go through these, sometimes this convex area and actually the whole thing gets, instead of squared off, it gets rounded off a little bit. You also have a different texture on the outside. I guess it's kind of simulating going through chrome, going through paint, going through a different type of chrome, because you can see on some of these that, let me see here, not really a whole lot happening. Something is happening subtly on the outside of it. It's like giving it a different texture of chrome, but essentially nothing's happened. And then obviously you have all of these variations in the paint as well. So whatever your heart's content is for mirrors on this uh, cab, you've got it covered. Again, 24 different variations of them. Something else notable here, we've got our options for dash. I'll kind of go through these. These are all just basically variations of wood until you get down to here. And when we're talking about, um, I don't know, kind of a Damascus. I don't know how you would describe that. And of course the carbon, then you can just simply go with paint, which is what I often do. A couple different options here on the this little center console or this little onboard computer. Boom. Okay, so you can have it right there on the center console. You can have it up here by the radio if you want to keep on looking up there. And this one doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but I think it's like right down here. It's under the gauges, but maybe that's only an option if you're driving without a steering wheel. Don't know. Kind of a weird place. I'm probably going to keep it right here in the center console, to be honest with you. Gauges, you've got standard, you've got the frame with visor, and you have a second visor, which is a little bit bigger. You get a whole bunch of dashboard sets with this. You can set anything to your heart's content. It's, there's tons of it. This is probably just a driver's plate. Over here, we do have auxiliary lights, so we can finally put watermelon lights on here. Let's go ahead and stick a couple. And by the way, that works on the other side too. So you don't have to change them on both sides. Uh, same with the mirrors, which is a pretty standard thing. Well, this looks a little bit weird though. Why did I just stick with red since I've got the uh, paint going? So that's pretty much your interior and all of your different options. I would like to point out that even though there aren't a ton of options, having the dash, having the color of the seats and the carpet, having the gauges, being able to do that, being able to change this uh, little uh, display computer, pretty cool. We already have a pretty good look. It's a pretty detailed look. And like all John Ruta products, very clear gauges, very easy to see things, very easy to read things, and an authentic layout for the 362. Let's hop back out to the outside. A uh, couple things to point out when we're talking about different paint things. There's probably, I don't know, 20, 25 different paint schemes that come with it. Most of them are pretty cool, and there's enough of them that you can switch between them, but none of them are custom color. They are pretty much as is out of the box. There are quite a few paint schemes and skins that come with this truck that have been made by third parties. But keep in mind that with the addition of this 3.0 version of the truck, some things have been tweaked a little bit in terms of the overall textures and how uh, everything has been optimized, including adding accessories and things like that. So I have a feeling that we may have to go back to the drawing board on a lot of third party skins 
or maybe it's going to work 75% of the way and they just have to tweak a few things here and there yet to see what's going to happen with additional skins here in version 3.0 but it is essentially a redesign of the template to optimize everything so keep that in mind some of your older skins may not work if you do upgrade to version 3.0 that's just kind of we don't have a lot of news i'm not saying they don't but I can't verify that they do. So you should check that out for sure if you like your old skins before upgrading to version 3.0. Now kind of the bread and butter here is all the options and accessories on the outside. If we look at bumpers, we actually have 14 different bumpers and a lot of them are obviously um, chrome versus paints. So as we see going down over here, it's just chrome paint, chrome paint, chrome paint. So essentially what, if you take the chrome and the paint out of it, you're, I mean, you're probably talking about like seven or eight different types. You do have the Aerodyne plastic, which is a little bit different. Obviously you can get the Aerodyne in the paint too. You can get something real basic. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out, they have one that has these lights here. Obviously there's a chrome version as well. But I would like to see one that actually had was pre-populated with lights instead of either you get no lights or you got to spend an hour going through these lights. Maybe an hour is an exaggeration. I just like an example where we've got a couple lights here and I don't have to customize it too much. That would be cool. But there are plenty of different shapes and colors and paints and chromes and that go with it. And that's pretty nice. You also have a bunch of different grill options. So we got version one. Here's version two, version three, four, five, six, and that's what we got. I do like that it's not like the same type of grill options that we see on other trucks. There is some really cool variations, like it or don't like it. It is unique in how, they, uh, how they're represented. I don't know how unique they are to the truck, but I can definitely see that some of these have been d done because some people are going to design these for like show trucks for sure. But you saw, still also have a couple good like working like standard stock grills that go along with it. Front window you can do in standard or you can do a chrome outline around it. It's pretty cool. Um, we do have... Okay, so we do have beacons. You can choose to go with standard beacons. You can do the ones with orange glass or clear glass. And then you also have an option if you wanted to go with this bar. There's an LED one with clear glass and one with orange glass. And that's kind of what it looks like. Or here's, and this is a little bit weird. I Normally, if you see a truck that has the option for interior lighting, it's usually its own node. In this case, you're going to have to choose between whether you want beacons or whether you want an interior light. And they've got red, orange, green, and blue. So just something to note. We do have a couple different options when it comes to the cab steps. We can do the painted or we can do the chrome. There it goes. And we also have marker lights where we can put a few lights on the outside of it, which is kind of cool. Adds a little bit of touch to it, but I know I'm not going to spend more than, you know, a couple minutes going through and picking out my lights because there's not like a, like, 16 on each side which is kind of cool with me um for those that like to customize it maybe you'd like a little bit more lights but we also have side lights which is kind of cool we can go ahead and pick these out and we've got a whole bunch of watermelons and i think that was one of the things that people were complaining with in terms of the lighting you've got a couple upgrades when it comes to this so let's go on and move on to the tanks so we have five different fuel tank options and we also have a step accessory for the tank. Side skirts? Oh yeah, okay, so we've got there for the chrome steps. And then we've got the tanker and all kinds of different options in terms of paints and chromes and stripes and non-stripes and sizes. They come in all whole, whole 48 inches. They come in the smaller 35 inches. So you have tons of different options here with your tanks, which is always good to see. Uh, you do have a couple options here with how you want to arrange these. What is interfering? Let's go ahead and override this so we can see. Okay, so I guess it wanted us to change the actual frame here. So 
So connectors, we've got that. I, yeah, I think it wanted us to change the frame. What if I go back to painted? Painted, I'm okay. That's okay. Under glow, we'll go ahead and pick green. I like green. Okay, so now that we've got our engine selected, and obviously because of the red, we are dealing with a Cummins engine here. Let's go ahead and look at, we've got this slingshot option. Oh, you know what happened? It only let me do that when I went to the, it put me back into this other cab. No? Okay. So it let me revert there. That's kind of cool. We're going with our biggest one. We still see the engine, don't we? Okay, it's way up there still. Yep, we're still dealing with the Cummins. Let's go through some of the options on the back. If, for example, we wanted to put a cover on this, and we've got a whole bunch of different options in paints and chromes and whatever, so I'm just going to click through some of them so you can see all the different options. And then in addition to having that back plate, we can also change out our air, air filters. Now, something unique about these air filters, actually, I need to go down to the slingshot first. I just clicked on slingshot a second ago, and it only gave us this bottom option that's selected. It's the, on, the only time that you can get this option, the standard one, boom, is if you have either the 82 or the 110 uh, cab. That's the only time these, if you want the 63, these do not show up as an option. Unfortunately, you are, your only choice is really to go with this other standard one. But now that we have that, we can go up to the air filters and you'll actually see some more options. Painted, chrome, and the snorkel is painted. So we're good there. Go up and take a look at the pipe. So let's take a look at these. We have a whole bunch of different options for the exhaust. We can go painted. Of course, we can still go chrome. We can go six inch. We can go seven inch. We can go eight inch. And all different kinds of ends. 10 inch chino, eight inch mitered, seven inch curved. And these are all painted too. Seven inch curved in chrome so tons even all the way up to 10 inch mitered painted tons of different options i'd probably stick to be honest with you i'm probably going to go ahead and stick to something chrome i probably wouldn't go any beyond a six or seven inch personally but i'm just showing you everything that we have to offer with all of these um, exhaust pipes so that's pretty cool another thing that i didn't really go over yet is you have different variations of the headlights now in version three you actually have LED headlights. There's one style. Here's another one with an angel eye. And here is one with angel eye in chrome. So those are your three new options. For those of you that don't have the truck at all, we do still have regular basic LEDs. You've got dual halogen round. We've got lens LED, dual round halogen, halogen reflected, halogen clear. So you actually have quite a few options um, of headlights, including three that are absolutely brand new to the truck now. Now going back to the idea that I'm picking this largest cab here, the reason is you have to be on this largest one to be able to look at the turbo wing. And you've got a couple, you've got uh, your chrome 26 inch and your chrome 30 inch. And keep in mind that you have to pick one of these two if you are going to go with this rear bar. As we see, if we come back to here, and with that rear bar, if we want to change it to the standard wind flat and standard wind open, we do not have that option. I am going to go ahead and override this though, because I want to show you what they look like. They actually look really cool. So there's the flat, and there's the open. Obviously, I wasn't able to do, deal with my backlight bar. Um, and I always find it kind of weird when you have to choose one option over the other. So it makes sense, um, because of the amount of space being allocated, but at least we can still add our horns here. So we still have that option and we still have our, um, options for all of these lights that we want to put on the front, for example, no matter what the, uh, what you want them to look like. And you can just kind of offset them. I just picked 
couple different ones, all different style to show you what they look like. Um, I didn't even go over the hug built uh, rear fenders here, but I will right now. Should go over some of these. These are in paint, in chrome. Tons of different options here. Some people are going to like this. Some people are going to like the more classic with the chrome. Or they might just go with the simple. You can make it as simple as you want. Lots of different options here if the rear fenders are your thing. Oh, I probably should go ahead and get into the 36 variations of the back bumpers. And they basically come in just a few varieties. It comes with based on how many lights you want. There's two, four. Uh, when you're, you're talking about uh, two lights and four lights, it's chrome and paint, and then chrome and paint. And then once you get into the six, the bar completely changes, and now you get into the more customized ones. Um, and everything is chrome and paint, so I'm just going to do every other one. Here's the eight, here's the ten, and now we're into the custom. It changes the complete the the whole shape and style of that back one and then of course we've got chrome paint chrome paint uh, here's the 8 here's the 10 and then let's go into a completely different style here there's the 6 there's the 8 and here is the 10 I'll change it back to paint so having the 6 8 10 chrome versus paint and essentially six or seven different shapes going on here I mean You've got tons of different bumpers. It, it does make it 36 different variations, and that's pretty cool. So lots of customizations being done, and that pretty much wraps up uh, the review of the truck, all the different parts, how it's put together. I'm probably going to be putting one together for the next video. I'll show you what I come up with. Um, I typically build more like classic-looking trucks. These are trucks that weren't meant for show. Uh, they're meant to be working trucks, but let's see what happens. I might get crazy with a long chassis just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know uh, down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can see all my videos. And that just about wraps up this one, though. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.